Hey everybody, I'm Stacy here at Scrapbooking Made Simple, scrapbookingmadesimple.com, and it's time for our next Saturday with Stacy YouTube class number 449. Almost 450, who would have ever thought? Counting down to 500. I think at that point we'll have to start a countdown, right? Right. Now, what do we have for you in this class this week? Oh my gosh. I have got product from Creative Expressions and Pink Ink. We have an exclusive on the Pink Ink. I have got product from Sizzix that is kind of mysterious, kind of you've seen them, but not really. And then there was a slight oopsie to our benefit and your benefit. So that's a wahoo could shoo. I've just got technique after technique after technique in this YouTube class. We are definitely going to start out very simple and progressively get more technique -y. If you are into mixed media or altered art, oh, this is a great class for you. But if you are a card maker or a scrapbooker, holy smokes, this is a class for you. I think there's just a little bit of something for everybody. I'm looking at my table and I can see there's Stampendous and Creative Expressions of Aurora Flakes and, and, and Switchlets from Sizzix. And if you don't know what any of that product is, watch. Watch and see what you can do with just some simple sheets of paper and a few little goodies. <laughs> now I have winner winner chicken dinner to tell you about. And I've got that right here. We pick two winners every single week. I'm gonna get right to winner winner chicken dinner because then I need to talk to you a little bit about the products that I have for you and kind of a little story behind it. So let's do winner winner chicken dinner and announce the two people who are lucky enough to receive a $25 gift card. That's good right now. It's in your account right now. How do you get a chance to be a winner winner chicken dinner? It's so easy. First, you gotta subscribe. There's a little heart over there with an SMS in it for Scrapbooking Made Simple. Just click it and subscribe. We love followers. We love our subscribers big hearts. That's why I did a little heart because big hearts to you. So subscribe and then you leave a comment below. If you are watching me during the premiere of this class Saturday morning 8 a.m. Sunday California time, 10 a.m. Central, 11 a.m. Eastern or 4 p.m. in the United Kingdom, you'll see that we're live chatting over to the side. Say hello, pop in and say hey, but that's not where you leave your comment to be a winner winner. That's down there below. Just post your comment and we'll approve it. Well, SMS guy James will approve it. And then you go into the running to be a winner winner. So these two lucky ladies <laughs> did just that. And I bet, I bet they never expected to hear their names. I'm just sure of it. And if it is you, get up and do the winner winner dance. Call your family or your fur babies around and say, ah, and then go shopping. Compliments of Scrapbooking Made Simple. We're happy that you're a winner winner. Okay, our first winner winner is, oh, this one's easy, Kathleen. Hello, Kathleen, how are you? Kathleen Tritt, I can pronounce that easy peasy mac and cheesy. <laughs> For those of you who do not know, I am dyslexic. Not like a little dyslexic, like a lot dyslexic. So the fact that I can pronounce that name makes my heart uber happy. Congratulations, Kathleen Tritt. You are a winner, winner, chicken dinner. And I bet, I bet you didn't expect to hear your name today, did ya? Our second winner, winner is, ooh, this one's okay. I can do this one too. It's almost too easy this week. Hmm. <laughs> How about Jody Elaine? Now it's all together, so Jody Elaine. Jody Elaine, how many Jody Elaines can there be? There can be Jody Elaine, but Jody Elaine? I don't think so. Jody Elaine Weinbrenner. Hello, Jody Elaine Weinbrenner. You also are a winner, winner chicken dinner here at Scrapbooking Made Simple. You have received a $25 gift card in your online account to spend any way that makes your heart happy. You too probably didn't expect to hear your name, but you just never know. If you don't leave a comment, I promise you, you will never hear your name. If you never leave a comment, you will never hear your name. But if you do, at some point it'll be your turn, right? Right. So I've got Kathleen and Jody Elaine. 
Let's do the winner winner chicken dinner dance and then I'm going to talk to you for a few minutes. Are you ready? You're a winner. Chicken dinner. You're a winner. Chicken dinner. Wahoo. Cut you for you. Congratulations to the both of you. Your online account already has your $25 in it. Go spend it any way that makes your heart happy. Okay, on to today's class. I have got product from Creative Expressions and Pink Ink. Now that product is Creative Expressions does pink ink. They, they manufacture for pink ink. So it's the same product under two different brands. Not the same colors though. So I'm gonna talk to you a little bit about that when I show it to you because we have made a couple bundles where I put the colors together that I thought worked best. When I laid out the Creative Expressions brand, the Cosmic Shimmer, and then I laid out the pink ink, it's like, this is now we need to move some of these here and there. So I did that and I will show you when we get to those bundles. I also have product from Sizzix and, and the product from Sizzix, this is kind of a, but wait, there's more class. But wait, there's more. <laughs> and you know, for those of you who have been around for a while, you know that my parents, my, my mom, my mom and dad have both passed away. If I tear up, I don't mean to. I just never know when it's going to happen when I talk about them. But my mom and dad, my mom was like 19 when they got married and my dad was 29 or my mom was 20 and my dad was 30. So there was a big age difference between them. And they had three kids, bing, bang, boom. And then about 10 years later, hello, I'm Stacy, your baby. Aren't you so glad to have another one 10 years later? My mom actually threw a plate at my father's head when she found out she was pregnant with me. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> now, they were married and and married for about 20 years. And then when I was around 10 years old, my parents got divorced. And my brothers and sisters had all moved out of the house and my parents divorced, which was traumatic for me, horrible. I hated it. My dad moved about five minutes away from where I lived, but long story short, at some point about two years later, they decided they couldn't live without each other, but they decided they couldn't really live with each other. <laughs> and my parents got back together again. They didn't get married again, but they just got back together. They never dated anybody else. My parents bought a new home together and we moved in and it was all like we were a family again. And when my dad would get annoyed with my mom, he would go, he had a house in Victorville, he'd go visit there. And, and so, but when my parents were married, one of the things that drove my dad crazy with my mom is that she would, she would buy, she wasn't a hoarder, but if something was on sale, if one was good, then all of it was better. I mean, if she could, if she had a coupon for 10 rolls of tin foil, okay, that Reynolds wrap now, but we called it tin foil. She buy all 10 rolls because if one roll is good, well, 10 rolls have to be better. I mean, when my mom passed away, she had more Tide detergent and bleach and Windex in her garage. Oh my gosh. So my dad would go crazy about this one because we'd have to store it in the garage. And two, we didn't need 10 rolls of tin foil all at the same time, but that was my mom. Fast forward to uh, this was when I was younger. Fast forward to when TV shopping came into be. My mom loved QVC and she loved TV shopping and, <laughs> and it drove my father crazy. I mean, the doorbell, ding dong. It wasn't Avon calling. It was UPS dropping off something from one of the shopping channels she was with. So so she just, she, my dad would sit there and I remember he had this old, um, it was a corduroy, one of those corduroy little um, backrests that had the little arms and he had it in the master bedroom. That was on his side. And my mom would be sitting over on her side of the bed, reading her Harlequin romances. And every now and then she'd click to HSN. Well, that wasn't even HSN, it was QVC or shop MBC, she'd just click over when, when, when my dad wasn't paying too much attention to see what they had. Because if they had it in one color, well, then they must have it in five and that had to be better, right? This was my parents. <laughs> they never did remarry, but they lived the rest of their lives in each other's lives 
all the way up to the day they passed away. My, it was, anyway. So this YouTube is kind of like my mom. If one is good, they all must be better. <laughs> Pay no attention to my dad. So this YouTube is either going to be for you because you're either going to love this class or you're not because I'm going to show you so many techniques that you're either going to be yay or you're going to be okay. I could have been done with just one and move along. That would be my dad and my mom would be like, oh no, show me more. <laughs> so, so look at I made it through and I didn't even cry. I'm so happy with myself. My parents, they just, they had a very interesting relationship. And like I said, they, they would live together for weeks on end and then somebody would get annoyed with somebody else and my dad would take off to Victorville to his house or my my mom would go visit my dad for a while and then they'd yik 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 and my mom would come back here to Santa Clarita. But it was true when I was a kid I used to say, my parents are divorced but living together. Boy did that get some attention. People were like, huh? <laughs> but they loved each other immensely and they've given me such wonderful memories of my mom curled up on her side of the master bedroom reading her Harlequin romances waiting for my dad to kind of just doze off so she could click. <laughs> I'm hoping that you are the person who wants more as opposed to no I don't want to hear but wait there's more that's my dad if somebody said on TV but wait there's more click <laughs> and he was done. <laughs> My mom would be like, oh, but what, what did we miss? <laughs> so let me get started for today. I'm going to talk to you about the Sizzix product first, because that's the, hmm, that's the, this is the one and only opportunity we're ever going to have to bring you this product at this price. And there was a little, you know, this, this YouTube was planned a while ago, and then there was a price change. Oops. So I'm going to tilt down. I'm going to show you some of the product, which I don't normally do, but I think you need to see some of this before we get started. So you can decide whether you are, yes, more is better, or you're like, nope, <laughs> not at all. <laughs> you're either my mom or you're my dad. <laughs> I'm not sure which one I am. Hmm. When it comes to shoes, more is better. <laughs> When it comes to house cleaning, nope. <laughs> All right, I'm going to tilt on down for the day. <laughs> Bye, guys. All right. can totally see my mom and my dad in the master bedroom. My mom, my mom had more Harlequin romance books than you could ever possibly imagine. Of course, she did work for the Granada Hills Library, so. <laughs> okay, this is what we have from Sizzix. These are switchlets. What are switchlets? They're a unique product that Ellison Sizzix has come out with, and they came out, I believe, last year. There is only six of them. That's it. We have an I Want It All bundle for you, but we also have them in open stock because I know many of you may already have one. When these first launched, they came out at $13.99, I think is the price. $13.99 each. And switchlets are a very unique product. We are gonna play with them and play with them and play with them. They have dies, they have embo an, em uh, an embossing folder, and the way they work is so genius that I have a little design envy. <laughs> I would have loved to have been able not only to come up with the idea, but to afford to manufacture them. So these released at $13.99. And I think that was what they had hoped they would stay at. But, well, things change and prices go up and people have to, you know, companies have to make adjustments and modifications. And that's what they did with these. These are currently on Sizzix dot com for twenty five dollars and ninety nine cents each. They went from thirteen ninety nine to twenty five ninety nine in 
it wasn't because they they were looking to make more money no they're just trying to keep you know they've got to be able to afford to manufacture it and when all the new costs came in that's what it was going to cost to manufacture it and bring it to you $25.99 but when I decided I wanted to do this YouTube they were still at $13.99 so Ellison being a great company and who really supports scrapbooking made simple said okay we'll let you put them out at $13.99 so we have our I want it all bundle retail is $155.94 your price for this week only it won't be after this week once the YouTube is over or we are sold out they go back to $25.99 your price this week is $77.97 wow right that's that's a wow <laughs> So if you want just open stock, they're on sale too, but not for this type of a discount. Not at all. You're almost better to buy the package and give the two away. You're still going to save more, but, um, but I wanted to show you what we have for you and why it is what it is. So if one is good, I think you'll find that the six are better. And like I said, you can share them with your crafty friends. You take the three you don't have, they take the three they don't have, however you do it. And then once the bundles are sold out, we will only have open stock. I'm gonna play with these. And this is where we're gonna start. I also wanna show you quickly the Creative Expressions product from Cosmic Shimmer and Pink Ink. We have two bundles for you. This is called, the pink ink is called Wax Lyrical, and the Cosmic Shimmer product is called uh, Gilded Touch. It is the same product, only branded under two different names, both sold by Creative Expressions, but branded under two different names. Let's see, do I have a pink ink in here? Gilded Touch, Gilded Touch wax lyrical so same exact product it is a water-based wax that goes a very long way but when I put the bundles together when I laid everything out the the gilded touch let's just dump them on out So when I laid them all out, I put the Wax Lyrical together and I said, oh, those colors are so pretty. So Wax Lyrical and so the Wax Lyrical here and Gilded Touch back here. Wax Lyrical, Gilded Touch, Gilded Touch, Gilded Touch, Wax Lyrical. So no two colors are the same. But when I put them together, this is what I saw. This is how, this is all Wax Lyrical by Pink Ink. We have the US exclusive on this. And this is Gilded Touch. The color palettes didn't make sense to me. So because they are from the same company and they are the same product, I decided to play a little bit and mix things up so that the color palettes made sense to me here we've got the brights look at the colors they're beautiful they're so vibrant and here we have the metallics and no two colors are the same in either bundle they're not all going to be wax lyrical i've got wax lyrical and gilded touch in the same bundle but i hope you can see why i did what i did to me that made more sense than this. These two colors just belong there and these three colors just belong here. So we just made our own little bundles. And yes, they are on sale. 
This is the bundle number one, the eight pack, okay. And bundle number two. So we'll get to that a little bit later. And I'm just gonna move these off to the side so I can get started with our switchlets. I think I'm gonna start with the I'm going to start with the leaves. So what is a switchlet? Easy peasy. It's a combination of an embossing folder and dies. You get three dies in each set. So three leaves and each leaf is a different shape. All three different. You're not going to have two that are the same. All three different leaves and these leaves are going to all work within this embossing folder. Let me get to that in a minute. I'm gonna start by die cutting. And I think I'm gonna make some paper. One, can I get two on there? Two. Yeah, I think I'm gonna make some paper. Just some background paper out of plain white. So I'm gonna grab my green and I'm just gonna put down some color and I'm not gonna care how, where it goes or how it goes. I just wanna take some plain white paper and give it some color. So I'm using my Hero Hues exclusive cubes to SMS. We have the Hero Cubes in open stock so you can buy the colors that you want. The next four colors will release in June. We have 16 new colors for 2022. Okay, so I've got a little bit of that color. Now maybe I do a little bit of this color. And again, I don't care where it the highs, the lows, whatever. I'm just trying to add some color. And do I want them to look a little folly? Do I want to add a little bit of orangey rust to them? Hmm. Oh, don't stick. Stacy tape sticking to my to my, my, there we go. Maybe I'll add just a little bit. So I'm just making some random paper. Not very exciting, I know. Maybe these are a little folly in the leaves. Okay, so I got a couple of that, and then maybe I do some in some blues and some purples. Maybe I'll do a little bit of winter. And this is not necessarily the way you would color with these brushes. I'm just putting some color down. This isn't the best way you would typically start off and then blend in, but I just really want to get some color down. And because I'm gonna be die cutting, I don't care if it's not blended. We're gonna make it work. And I probably could take the pad directly to the paper itself and do it that way too. And it doesn't matter what ink you use, just get some ink on some paper, or of course you can always use a, pad, a, a colored paper. You don't have quite as many options when you do that. Okay, so then let's try some purple. Keep my blue out just in case I decide I need a little bit more. And my purple. Let's try some purple. And I'm just gonna throw some down here. And look at, I've got big blotches. And you're like, ah, no, it's gonna be fine. This is crafting where you just get into it. This isn't a right and a wrong, this is a just do it. You don't like what it looks like? Give it time, you have to give it time. You've gotta let it be what it's going to become. Maybe a little more blue. All 
All right, I think we're good. I can always add more once I've die cut. Okay. Blue, purple. All right, I'm gonna grab those three dies that come with the, where did I, oh, here they are. Three dies that come with the, with the set and I'm gonna die cut. Let's see if I can get through two sheets at the same time. So line those up and let's see if I can do this one and that one. Okay, so I'm gonna do these two at the same time. I'm gonna bring over my solo shim. So for my Sizzix Big Shot machine, I have got my base platform, I've got my solo shim, I've got my cut plate, I've got my paper, my dies. I don't need a precision base plate because these are not intricate dies and I'm gonna send it on through. And hopefully we're able to cut two at the same time. Now I am gonna rotate just because I'm asking the die to cut through two pieces of paper and there really is no there's nothing on the die to cut. There's no blade. It's a wafer die because it's wafer thin. And this little ridge is what does all the cutting from the pressure in your roller and your machine. Now these are great little dies and you can use them with a host of different machines. So I'm just die cutting out. Did I get it? Oh, I don't know if I did or not. Oh, I did. Oh, not on that one. Hoo wee. Let's see if I can cut that one out. Let's bring our machine back over. And let me, I'm just gonna line that one up and try to get that one through. That one did not cut through two pieces. I knew I was asking a lot but it's only paper. Okay. So I've got a couple leaves here. Gosh, you could use these, keep these and use them for something. I'm also gonna grab just a plain sheet of white. And I'm gonna cut I'm gonna cut the three leaves again, just in white. One, two, three. That'll give me enough to play with, I think. All right. Oh no, I need my bottom cut plate. So my my base platform, my solo shim, my cut plate, my dies with paper. <laughs> One, two, three, and let's send it on through. So we haven't even touched the embossing mechanism on this, this switchlet yet. Right now I am just using the dies as any other die could be used. I'm not doing anything intricate with it or I'm just using it as a die cut because you have that option with uh, switchlets. You can use just the dies on their own. You don't have to use them in the, the embossing folder. So now I've got three. I'm gonna put those off to the side just so I have some white ones and my dies there. All right. Now, what can we do with these? Well, before we even get into playing with the embossing element of it, I've got, I've got options just in the die shape alone. Look at what I've got there. That's a stenciling element. It's a beautiful stenciling element 
Now, it's also an embossing element, and you could use a squishy and a knock-knock, but you're not going to have to because um, we have this that we're going to get to. But this is a great stenciling element. What if I wanted to add a darker green in there to make those veins become more relevant so that you can see them right now you've got no detail to your leaf at all all i have to do is put my die right back on top and it kind of clicks into place yep right when you get it it kind of clicks into place all i have to do is lay it down and then i can come back in And I can add color to that opening, which is acting as a stencil. Now I've added definition to my leaf. I could come back in and add a little more color if I wanted to. See, now you see I'm starting off the side and coming in because I want to be specific where I put my color and I want it to have a very soft look. If I wanted to make it a little more folly, I could come back in with my orange. And remember, we're talking white paper. That's all we're playing with is white paper. So you can't really do any harm to white paper. I just want it to have a little more definition to it. And in no time at all, I took something that looked like this and made it look like that. And we haven't even used the switch lip for what it's really to be used for. But you can do more. What if I wanted to take and have kind of a, hmm, kind of a wintry leaf. Hmm, let's use this one. So I did the blues and the purples. Can I come back in and add more color? Absolutely I could because I've got that same, uh, that same opening to add more detail to. Sure I could. I could also emboss this. Emboss this. Yes, what if we took the switchlet? And how does the switchlet work? Well, you see there's four little dots there. Those are magnets built into the embossing folder. So I think I'll take a plain piece of paper and just cut one in a plain piece of paper. So I don't, that's me putting my dies on my gotcha tool. That way they don't move. This is a gotcha tool. <laughs> it's mine. It was made for me by Spellbinders. Um, we contracted with them to make my gotcha tool for me and it's, it's hugely strong. I mean, they have the cute little one that's a that's a diamond, but it's it's the front of it's kind of small. So when I saw it, I said, oh, I think we can do better than that. Uh, so that's a gotcha tool, just in case you hear that noise. It's me just putting my dies so I don't lose them. I'm gonna take a plain piece of white paper and let's grab, let's grab this die. Remember I said that these are magnets. And that means that my die is going to kind of click into place and not move. All three dies will click into place and then not move because the, the embossing element is the same for all three dies. What's changed is the shape of the leaf. 
So let's bring back my first one and let's click that in. There we go. Click it in. It doesn't move. What's in some place? Look, Ma, no hands. I'm just going to take a piece of white paper and this is going to cut and emboss at the same time. But you're not just stuck with this leaf. No, you can do this one or you can do this one. They all three are going to work together. Can you see now why just the embedding of the magnets into the embossing folder, that is, that is technically savvy. That is so smart, but also an expensive process to do. I think that when they originally brought them out, I don't think they knew how popular they may be um, and how much it would cost to actually get you know, mass production in their factories. And with the way things are and how prices have gone up for everything, they had to have a cold, hard look at them. But not you. Uh-uh, we have them at that original price. Holy smokes, artichokes. Now the difference with this is it is an embossing folder. So you are not gonna run it through your machine the same way you would, <laughs> the same way you would, is it underneath? No, yes it is. The same way you would a die. So if I did it the same way I've been doing it, which is my base platform, my solo shim because I'm doing a wafer die, my cut plate, my die and embossing folder put together, and my clear plate, my do not cut plate, and try to send it through, it's not going to go. It will not like it. It will say, whoa. It won't do. Don't force. Don't force. Let it back itself out and try again. You only have so many options. So now the first thing I would think to do is I'm not doing a wafer die, so I need to take this piece off. That would be my first thought. Put my clear plate down, put my die in my paper down, and let's put my do not cut plate on top and let's send it on through. Ooh, same thing. No, it, it's better, but it still doesn't want to take it. Okay, don't force. Pull it back out. Now what are my options? Well, let's take away one of my clear plates. Now I've just got the base platform, my switchlet, and just one top. Whether it be a do not cut or a cut plate, it makes no difference. And a do not cut plate is just a plate that you try not to cut into. That way it stays nice and straight and doesn't warp. Now let's send it on through. Oh yeah, that's going through nice. That's going through really nice. Look at how easy that is to turn. And do you want to send it back? You can if you want. Look at how it's like butter. It almost feels like it's not doing anything at all. But is it? Now, I've got my, oh, can you see the embossing? I've got my leaf and it's embossed. So I can come in and I can take my colors, put my leaf there. I can take my colors if I want. Let's grab my green and, is that my, yeah, my green, got a little, and I can color it up. And I can come back in with my darker green if I want. And I can kind of just go over that top where that embossing is to darken it up. And now I've got that. Or I have that. This one, however, 
has that dimensional embossing right on it. That's what a switchlet does. And the reason they call it a switchlet is because you have the opportunity to switch your designs. Each one of them comes with three different shapes. The embossing feature is all going to be the same, but the shape of the die is going to be different. Hence, switchlet. But wait, there's more. <laughs> So we've got our switchlets going and now you see that you can cut just a shape. If you just want a leaf, you can just cut a leaf and be done. Or you can cut a leaf and use the die as a stencil to add an embossing. Or you can use the die and the embossing feature in the switchlet together all at once. But there's more. What if you wanted to take, uh, let's see, what if we wanted to take and wax up one of these leaves? What if I wanted to take and use my, my either pink ink or cosmic shimmer wax to it? And what color do I want? Maybe some bronze. So a little wax goes a really long way. This is something you don't want to put a ton on. You just want a little and you want to kind of move it into a sponge. You can use your finger, but I'll tell you, you'll go through more wax that way. If you use a sponge, you won't go through as much wax and a little really does go a very long way. This wax dries very quickly. That's dry. It dries super fast. So you put a little bit on, not a lot, a dabble do ya. And then get it down. And a little. It's better to use a little bit often then try and put a whole bunch on all at once. This little tube is going to last you quite some time because you're using such a little amount. Is it like the wax from Sizzix? No, that really is a wax-based product. This is more water-based. but the colors are magic. All right, so I've got a little bit going on there. Maybe I come in with I don't know, maybe I put a little bit of green on. And I'm just going to go right on top. And we'll see if this is too vibrant. I don't think it's too vibrant at all. And a little bit more. So I don't change my sponges too often. Now some of you are like, what? I know, I just, I'm a let it go and let it be and who knows what it's gonna turn out to be. We're just gonna try. And maybe I take a little bit of this this autumn bronze, which is like a twofer. It's got two colors in it. It's almost like it's got a little bit of uh, uh, interference going on. And the thing with the tube is because it's in a tube, you might get a little bit of dry at the top, which is actually kind of good because then it seals the air out from the tube. You just kind of plop that off and the tube keeps everything from drying out. Oh, that's too much. See, too much. Way too much. Yeah, no. Let's go back and get my green. 
I don't like it. No problem. Let's just fix that. <laughs> And bring my copper back so you can layer and layer and layer and layer and layer until your heart is happy okay I kind of like that it's kind of like a hot little mess that works for me now I can take it and put it into my switchlet so after I've added all my color, now I can take it and put it into my switch lip. Let's wipe up my Okay. Let's bring over the right shape, which is this one. And let's get it to click on into place. It's clicked in, it's staying. All I have to do is put my die right back in and close it, whoop, close it up. There we go. And now I'm ready to emboss it. Remember, there's your base plate, no other clear plate. And your do not cut it's just a one plate sandwich and we're going to send it on through and it rolls really easy almost like it feels it's not doing anything at all but it is i promise and now i've embossed and i could come back Maybe with that darker color. And try and hit the top. So I just get those veins. And make them a little bit more prominent. Easy to do. But wait, there's more. <laughs> Gosh, that's so pretty. That looks really, I'm really happy with that now. <laughs> wait, there's more. So let's put my lids back on. Let's put my lid on my green. What if we wanted to take it one step further? Let's see, we have this one, and we have this one, and we have that one. Um, we have just plain leaves, not done anything to them yet at all. What if I wanted to take it and, hmm, what if I wanted to color it? Hmm. So I've got this one. What if I took a little bit of, now I am changing my, I am changing my pad because I'm going to a totally different color. I'm going from the warms to the cools. What if I came in here? Ooh, no, what if I did it with this one? Ooh, yeah, let's do it with this one. And I add a little bit of purple. That was a lot, but let's just add a little bit of purple to it. And let's winter it up maybe just a little bit. And it's already dry. It's, it's dry, I know it's hard to believe it dries that fast, but it really truly does. Can you add water to it? 
you can, but mm, then it really dilutes it out and you lose all of that beautiful iridescence that you're getting. We have a little bit of teal. So now I've got a little bit of a winter wonderland going on. Now I want to do all of that before I stick it in to emboss it. I, I, I can always, I can always do, hmm, how do I say this? I can always go in and emboss this and then add all my color. Let's go in and emboss this one. Let's just get a piece of white paper and we'll do it from scratch. So I can always go in and grab it without it having any color on it at all and get my embossing done. Send it on through. Feels like it's not doing anything. You have to just kind of go with it and try. I know you're going to want to try and shim it to think it's going to do more. It doesn't need a shim. Bring it over. And now it's embossed in white. And then I could do the same thing. I could come in and um, I could add some blue. And color it after it's been embossed. It's not going to hurt it any. It's really up to you. I prefer to do a little bit of my coloring before I emboss it. But I think what's most important is that I show you that if you're worried about flattening your embossing by doing it this way, all we have to do is put it right back into that folder and emboss again. So there's some blue. Let's add a little purple. Because I'm making another winter leaf. <laughs> Maybe because it's supposed to be 110 degrees out here this weekend in sunny California. I'm thinking, oh, I'm thinking. <laughs> I'm wishing for a little cooler weather. So it dries super fast and it lays on top. It doesn't necessarily blend because of how fast it dries. And I might even take just a little bit of that pink. And add that in there. Well, maybe I'm not crazy about the pink. <laughs> the good thing is, it's only paper. You put a little bit more of your blue on there, come back in and tone that down. Oh, now I like it. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay, so embossed, 
not embossed yet. Now, if you feel that this has flattened because you've added ink to it, because you were working with it and pushing it while you were putting your ink on, you can absolutely go back and put it right back in the folder. So you can see how quick it dries. You can put it right back in the folder, line it up with those magnets, put it back in, and push the embossing through again, which will just deepen that embossing. I haven't spritzed my paper. I'm using 80 pound cardstock. There's nothing special about the paper that I have or anything that I'm doing. And now the embossing is even more. But I still have this one. So let's put this one back in and line it up. Once it lines up, it doesn't move. I can put my leaf right back on in, close it on up. and send it through. And now my embossing is there. But what if I brought this one back and I put it back in, and this time I hit it with, and I leave it just like that, but this time I hit it with some silver. What if I take some of the silver see a little it forms a little bit of a of a cap on it. Just kind of squish that away. And then let's just kind of hit it while it's in the stencil. Now look what I've done. I mean, the stuff is beautiful. This wax is beautiful. I love that it comes in the tubes. That made my heart super happy. Not for a retail purpose because they don't stand up. So displaying them is going to be a little bit, little bit of a challenge. <laughs> but I'll take on that challenge to have it in a tube that keeps it from drying out. And it is so pretty and a little goes such a long way. Now I know that leaves aren't typically blue and purple, but we are doing a winter wonderland. So leaves can be whatever color you want them to be. But do you remember how this started? This started as a plain white piece of paper, but we're not done yet. <laughs> How about we go back to this one? And what if I took, ooh, what if I took, what if I put my lid on my, that would be good. What if I took Versamark and I put Versamark on my embossing folder? Now, I'm always going to put it on the sides, the side that has the magnet, the four magnets, that's the side you want to add Versamark to. I'm never going to put it on this side. 
Not unless you want to Versamark and emboss the back. And if you do, well, that's your prog prerogative. You can have a debossed side, absolutely. Right now, I'm going to put it on the side that has the magnets because that's what's being pushed in. That's what's making the embossing. I've got the raised side here is being pushed into that paper, into the divots in here to force an embossing. So it's it's making that embossing. So I want to add my Versamark to this side because this is the side that you see when you're all done. It's the side that has Sizzix on it, so this is the side you're going to see when you're finished. So let's add some Versamark. And I'm not going to be neat about it. So I've added Versamark all over there. What's a Versamark? It's an embossing medium for embossing powder. Embossing powder is a granulized plastic that when you heat it melts into a solid. Now I've put Versamark all over there and I need that Versamark to get onto my paper so then I can put that powder over it and heat it to a solid. And you're saying, but Stacy, you got it all over that folder. It's gonna get all over your dye and you're gonna have Versamark everywhere. But am I? Hmm, I don't think so. So I'm gonna take that Versamark. I'm gonna click my dye back in place. Versamark's water soluble. You don't have to worry. It's not going to get all over if you, you just wipe it off. My die is in place. Now I'm going to put my die cut back in. And because that die is in place, it is masking off all that extra Versamark. The die is act, act, acting as a mask. So that Versamark that's all over this top piece here, all over, isn't getting on my actual die cut. Now I send it on through. And by doing that, it's transferred the Versamark off of my embossing folder and onto, so you can see it, it's all, I mean, it's, it's all over, but it doesn't matter because the paper is nested inside the die cut. And now only where the paper was able to touch the embossing folder did that Versamark transfer. So let's grab, let's grab some winter. This is really winter. And let's grab a piece of paper. Make a makeshift funnel. This is from Stampendous. It is called Frozen Ice Tinsel. It is an embossing powder. It's beautiful. Oh, hello. So because it's got multiple types of pieces in it, you want to give it a nice little shake, shake, shake. And now this is going to cling where my Versamark is. Okay, it did not cling all over my entire leaf. It only stuck where that Versamark is. Let's put this away and then I have to heat set this. If I don't heat set it, it's a powder. Versamark is not a glue. It's an embossing medium. It's like a watermark. I don't know what I got on there. Oh, <laughs> probably the silver. <laughs> okay, so if I were to take my hands, I could wipe all of that right off. 
Versamark is not a glue. There's an essentials glue pad that is a glue. <laughs> this is for watermarking or heat embossing. So I have to bring over my heat tool. This is a Sizzix heat tool, has two speeds, really love it. It allows me to get close to everything without burning anything. A hair dryer will not do this. A hair dryer doesn't get hot enough to melt all of these bits of plastic. This is ground up iridescent frozen ice plastic that when it gets hot enough will melt into a solid. Hair dryer does not get hot enough and this, this will singe your hair. Two speeds, low or high. And I can watch it turn color. So on this side, it's embossed. And on this side, it's not. This hasn't had enough heat yet to turn into a solid, yet this has. This is dry, it's not going to, it's not gonna rub off. Embossing powder only stays, uh, it, it dries quickly. It, it, once your paper is cool, your embossing powder is dry. winter leaf. But you're saying, what happens if you feel that the embossing has kind of softened down a little bit? It isn't as substantial as it was. Um, guess what? I'm going to wipe this down because it's got Versamark on it and I don't want to transfer any more Versamark. Versamark's water soluble. Dry it off on my pair of pants. You guys <laughs> use something else. Oh, and my pair of pants were have glitter all over them. Oh. <laughs> Put in my leaf. Line. Wow, that was a. I was gonna say, was that a? Yeah, I pretty much lined that right up. Put it back in. If you want to add that embossing a little bit deeper to make sure you've got it as deep as it can go. Close it up, send it through. Your embossing is just a little bit higher, a little bit deeper, a little bit more pronounced. Who would have ever thought? Now I could go back with this one. I could go back with this one and that is this one right here and I could Versamark up and line up my leaf put my die cut back in, close it up, send it through, transfer that Versa mark.
do the embossing. Remember, this one I started with, we just had it, we just used it as the stencil. Um, what if we use the copper? Copper embossing powder? Pretty good. I got a little something something in my embossing powder. Put it back. You use almost no embossing powder. And you can see it hasn't covered up all of my green. It's just kind of clung in there. But wait till you see what happens when we when we heat it. Right now it just looks like a dingy brown. Now look at what we get. You got a little bit of the green poking through, but this looks a lot different than that just by adding the heat. When it melts, embossing powder comes alive. Copper's beautiful, but what if we want to go back? And we want to add some of that darker color to it. just a little over the top and there you go. Options are everywhere with switchlets because they give you so much to start with. I can see why they're $25.99. You're getting an embossing folder and you're getting three dies and the dies are not teeny teeny tiny. I can understand that. I can see why, why the price is what it is. But useful, yes. And that's not your price. <laughs> price went up after the fact. So we've got this one and that one and this one and that one and this one. And here we could do something with, with this. We could put the top back on. back on and bring over some of the wax I could just go right over the top Now I've got that, and I could take that wax and do a little bit more. And remember, I inked this one. This one started with just some paper, some white paper, 
that I inked up with just some Hero Hues ink. I didn't care where I put the, the ink down. I just wanted it down so I had some colored paper to play with. Could even maybe bring in some of this red. Ooh, this red is so pretty. <gasps> this red makes my heart happy. See, it's got a little bit of a look at that. See, they used it. It's got just a little bit of a cap. I'm just gonna pop that right off. Oh my gosh, that red is something spectacular. And this would not have been in the right bundle. Love the red. Oh, no, nope. more red. What you do with it, you can play for hours. You make it what you want. because you just started with white paper. Love that red. Maybe a little more red, just a tiny little bit. Okay, we're making a leaf. It's so pretty. The colors are so majestic. They're so rich. And then if I really wanted that stem to show up, if I really wanted those veinings to show up after all of that, Versa mark it up. Put my die in. Here. Close it up, it's a little off. Close it up. Send it on through. Or do we want the copper? I think the copper will be dark enough. We'll see. It's only paper. That's all I've used is white paper. That's all I'm going to put. Look at that. See, it's stuck right where it was supposed to. Look at the difference of the embossing. You just go, go, go until you get what you like. There's no right, there's no wrong. Your paper, your paper can take it. The wax can take it. The ink can take it. You go until you get where you wanna be. 
And then at some point you stop. I'm really bad at stopping. I'm like, oh, just a little bit more. Just a little bit more, right? Sometimes I take it from fabulous, spectacular to, oops, too far. <laughs> oops, too far. But I love this autumn, is it autumn bronze? It just vintages everything up. Now that looks like a fall leaf. You've got the greens and the reds and the bronzes. Oh, love. So if you like mixed media, if you like altered art, oh my gosh, this is so you. But if you like scrapbooking and you like card making, oh my gosh, this is so you. These are beautiful. And it's entirely what you make of them. I could have just left it super plain. No embossing. I inked the paper myself. I just used a little bit of different colors and then die cut. Oh, look at that. It's got a little bit from going through. <gasps> but wait, there's more. Look at that. I have the tiniest little imprint of it. Who knew? See? That's what you get when the YouTubes aren't scripted or edited. You see what I see when I see it. Gosh, can you see that? Just the littlest of a little shadow of the embossing came through from just die cutting it. I don't want to put too much because I'm afraid I'll lose it. but it's only paper. It's almost like an etching. Oh. oh, this makes my heart happy. Like back with the red, I know. And I didn't even emboss that. That little embossing was what happened when I sent it through the die cutting machine. So, lots of things to do. Oodles of things to do, but we're not done yet. I mean, you decide what makes your heart happy. You decide how far you want to take something. You decide what techniques work best for you. I am loving this leaf. <laughs> now I want to make them all look like that. <laughs> but we're not done. This was all using white paper. Isn't that beautiful? That's what that, that tinsel frozen ice embossing powder. Love. What if we used a pattern paper? Now this is white core pattern paper, or white, it, meaning that the, the center is white. If I tear it, it's white because the paper starts as white and then this is printed on top of it, which means it's a sandable paper. So if you have double-sided paper, anybody's double-sided paper, it, chances are if it's printed on both sides, it started at, as white in the center, which means if you tear it, it's going to tear to white, which means it's a sandable paper. What am I talking about? Well, how about we use this leaf? And I'm going to, maybe I'll cut. Well, look at there, I'll cut all three. 
Wahoo Kachu. Now I can cut them or I can put them through and cut this way. It's entirely up to you. I suppose I, suppose I should do at least one that way because that really is the point of the switch lid. I just think you have options, so use what works best for you. So I'm gonna put my, ooh, I'm gonna wipe all my Versamark out because I don't want to have Versamark go through. Just a baby wipe, doesn't hurt the magnets. I'm gonna dry it off on my paper. Hopefully this side didn't have glitter. Not as much glitter as the other side. <laughs> I'll put my leaf in, line it up, get it to click into place, put my paper in, close it up, and this is going to cut and emboss at the exact same time. So the beautiful thing about this is if you have, if you buy the bundle and you already have the leaf, now you have two of them and you can cut twice as many <laughs> with one roll. For the price, you just can't go wrong because after this YouTube, I have to put them right back up to $25.99. Ooh, right? All right, let's do this one just because we can. And then we're going to move on to the butterflies. I know I've spent a lot of time on the leaf, but we'll move on to the butterfly. And let's click this one into place. And once it clicks in, it doesn't move. Remember, the side that you want to see on your finished project should be the paper that you see when you close it and you can read Sizzix. That's your front. If I see white paper coming up, that means I'm going to be using white paper on my finished project. Let's bring it on over, send it on through, and then I will have two of these to play with. You don't have to send it front and back if you don't want to. I just have to take it backwards anyway, so I figure I might as well. All right. Now I have two to play with. So I could, I could just sand it. Sanding tool. And because it's white paper underneath, as I sand off the, the printed part, the white core comes through. So I've distressed it a little bit. And now you can see the embossing really comes up. Not sanded, sanded. But maybe you're not crazy about the white. Maybe the white is too white against that beautiful brown. That's easy to remedy. Just take uh, ink, some of your ink. And I've got just rust here. I'm just going to lightly go in lightly go in and ink the white so it's not so stark. And there, now my white isn't as stark. You can certainly see that embossing beautifully but my white is not as, as stark as it was, but it's not as hidden. You can see it. You can see that the, the veins are there, but you can't necessarily, until you move it, see it. 
here it's it's clear but that white is not as white as it used to be and I just inked right over the top of it but you can do the same thing the pattern paper is going to take that um, that beautiful wax Ooh, I don't know what color this is I haven't played with this color yet Hmm. Ooh, this is the rose gold. Okay, <laughs> but maybe it's not a contrast enough. I don't know. Get that little top off. And just put it over the veining and it's dry already already dry you want to add some more color to it add whatever colors make your heart happy there's no right there's no wrong it's just do think of all those little scraps of pattern paper that you just could not bear to throw away. Oh, needed a little bit more on there. You could not bear to throw them away. Now you've got a purpose for them. You've got a place to use them. You could make a bunch of these as embellishments and just kind of keep them. You're like, oh, it was perfect just the way it was. Well, maybe. Maybe we add a little something more to it. And if I don't like it, I just cover it up. All right, I need to finish because we need to go to the butterflies. But I just love playing with this. The wax is super easy to use. It's not a typical wax. It's not like a luster wax. This is more water-based. That is more waxy waxy. But man, I could just play and play and play and add pretty colors and and then if I want to, if I'm worried that I've mushed that embossing down too much, I've worked it too much. I just click it right back into place. Put my die right back on in. Close it up and send it through. And then we will move on. This gives you the foundation of what switchlets do. Now we're going to play with the butterflies and we're going to move to a completely different product. Still cosmic shimmer, and I'm going to work with it and the um, and the waxes together. Now I'm reembossed. Oh, makes my heart happy, and I would probably save this stuff and do something with it. But you decide. what it is that you want to do. They're all beautiful. They're all easy. They're all using white paper or pattern card stock, pattern paper that you already had, little swatches of everything, embossing powders. All right, let's move to butterflies. Now the butterfly switchlets, so you know you've got the florals and you've got the Tim Holtz seals. Are they, what does he call these? Is he calling them? Yeah, seal. Good. Okay. <laughs> and you've got the envelope seals and you've got the labels 
and the butterflies. Let's play with the butterflies for a little bit. So everything I did with the leaves, you can do with the butterflies. Absolutely everything that I did, you can do with the butterflies. And the butterflies come with three different butterflies, three different dies. So one, two, three. Slightly different shapes on the outside, but what's consistent is that center shape because that's where the embossing happens. Here's the embossing folder. Now what would happen if I just took a piece of paper? I don't know, let's see. What if I just took a piece of paper and put it in the embossing folder? So I've got my three dies, my embossing folder. Let's just take and put a piece of paper in. What's the worst that can happen? It's only white paper, right? Remember your sandwich, base plate. Back it up a little bit more. Base plate. Embossing folder, cup, or do not cut plate or cut plate. Roll it through. Bring it back if you want to. Makes no difference. I'm just gonna see what happens if we just emboss it. Oh, pretty butterfly. I've got a pretty little butterfly embossing. Um, let's see if I take just so you can see it. Pretty, that's just paper and the folder, no die. Okay, good to know, right? So let's take and, oh, again, you line it up with the magnets, it kinda, clicks into place when you've got it. Let's go ahead and cut one out of white just so you can see and then we'll we'll go from there. Is this big enough? Why yes, yes it is just just by the hair my need chin chin but that's all it needed to be. Okay, let's send it on through. So now I've just got a piece of white paper in there. And there's my butterfly. So now I have options. I can color her all up. Look at how beautiful that metallic is. So pretty. Let's see, use a little. Do I want purple? Do I want dark blue? Purple, dark blue. I haven't played with dark blue. Purple, dark blue.
You use so little. Now, let's go whoosh. Now it's up to you whether you want to color all the white space in and have it start with a solid color. I like the red. The red makes my heart happy. And maybe just a touch touch of gold like how many colors can you put in there I don't know there's like 17 colors of this so a lot <gasps> yes the gold was perfect Oh, a little bit more gold. Love it. Oh, she's pretty. <laughs> she is. She's pretty. And see, this is where I have to stop, where I would sit here and I would, I would just play and layer and... But... We don't have time for that. I know, right? It says a little tiny little bit, a little dabble do you. Less is more. You can always add. Okay, I'm leaving her alone. But I love her. Mm -mm. So that's just on white paper, <laughs> right? But we can do more than that. Let me put my lids on and let me bring out some Stacy tape. And lid. How about we bring out some Stacy tape? Oh, she's so pretty. So the Wax Lyrical is the pink ink colors and the Gilded gilded Touch is the Creative Express or the Cosmic Shimmer colors. They're both manufactured by Creative Expressions just under two brands. And I couldn't, I couldn't pick just one because there were colors in both that needed to be, they needed to be rejigged to, to, to the color palettes that made my heart happy. So we had to have both of them. So, and then I made my own color palettes. Now I'm gonna take some two and a half inch Stacy tape. This is a double-sided adhesive. And I'm just gonna put it right down on my paper. So if I were to pull this off, it would have adhesive on it. And if I were to die cut something out of it, it makes it an instant sticker. If you put your die here, and then you cut out and then you peel the adhesive off you've made an instant sticker i'm going to do just the opposite i want that sticky on the top on the top yes i want it on the top so let me put that back there and let me grab my butterfly again and i think this is going to just fit just 
So let me trim it on down. And I'm going to die cut this first. I'm not going to use my embossing folder yet. And you'll see why in just a moment. I'm going to die cut this first, which means I have to bring back over my solo shim. I have to have a bottom cut plate. I've got my Stacy tape on just a piece of 80 pound white paper and my die. Now you're asking this little die that has just these little ridges, they're not even blades, to go through a top liner of adhesive, the actual adhesive itself, and a piece of paper. So you may have to send it through and pull it back, you may have to rotate it. Remember, you're asking a little die to do a lot of work. It's a little tighter getting through than when you're just using the embossing folder. Now, I think I'll rotate and send it back just to be sure because I needed to get through the liner of the tape, the actual adhesive, and the paper. And there we go. And I think, I think I'll just, I'm going to do two of these is what I think I'm going to do. That way I have more than one to play with. So we don't prep anything here in advance. What you see is what you get. And when I make an oops, you see me make an oops. It doesn't get edited out. And there's no voiceovers or dubbings. It's probably why they're three hours long. <laughs> But it is a class, and if you were going to take a class at a crafting store, a scrapbooking store, a card making store, how much would you pay for that class? This is free. <laughs> so they may be long, but they're free. And there's always that fast forward button at the bottom, by all means. You can zoom right through to your favorite part. They are all my favorite parts, so. <laughs> all right, so I'm gonna send it on through. And because I've asked it to go through the liner of the tape, the actual adhesive and the cardstock, I'm gonna rotate and send it on back. Just to be on the safe side, it doesn't hurt if it's already cut once. A little extra roll never caused any harm and it saves a lot of aggravation. And out it comes. Oh, yay. Okay, so now I've got two to play with. Wahoo Kachu. What am I going to do with them? Let me zoom back on in. I know very high tech here. Oh. Very high tech. So I'm going to take Aurora Flakes. What are Aurora Flakes? These are like a, a mega flake or a gilded flake, only they're in spectacular colors. They're by Creative Expressions. They're part of the Cosmic Shimmer brand. And these Aurora Flakes have triple colors in them. So it's got, this one's got a silver, a green, and a blue. And this one has got a silver, a red, and a blue. And this one has got a pink and a gold and a silver. They're yummy. All the Aurora Flakes are triple colored. So they're a blend of colors. I think I'm gonna use, let's start with, how about confetti? That looks happy, right? Now, Aurora Flakes, unlike uh, perhaps the, the flakes from Sizzix, the gold and silver and copper that we carry, these are already chopped into bits. I mean, they're pretty much chopped up like they've gone through a pretty good shredder. So when you use them, you do not want to have your air conditioning on. You don't want to have a ceiling fan on. You don't want to breathe too hard and you definitely don't want to sneeze. Can you, I don't know if you can. Oh, that's just me blowing from about eight inches away. That's how light they are. I'm going to take, I'm going to take my sticker 
I'm going to expose the sticky. And you can see it's sticky right now. I got to do something with it. As long as that liner is still on, you don't you can you can put these away and use them whenever you want. You can cut a whole bunch of them and travel with them, whatever you want to do. Until you expose that liner, then you need to do something with it. So I'm going to take some of this and it's it's chopped up pretty good. And when you start moving it, it's going to shred even even finer. It's going to become little particles of dust. All right, I think that's good. So I'm going to take a stipple brush or a stencil brush. Okay, oh, can you see how, let's see if I zoom in, can you see how it just kind of breaks into little pieces? See that right there? So I'm going to want to move it along And I'm going to use all of those little pieces to fill in any place I don't have. So a little bit goes a very long way. You'd rather use less than more because you can always add. But there's no way I'm going to try and put these little particles back in that jar. So can you imagine how long this jar is going to last you? You could put it into uh, a Tupperware, a nice little Rubbermaid something or other, split it with your friends, and all of you will have enough to last qu quite a long time, <laughs> maybe a lifetime. A little goes a very long way. And I'm just going to go, so I'm not even going to try and save it, it's just dust. Oh, but it's so pretty. <laughs> so now look at my, look at my butterfly. Right? Now, now I can put it through my embossing folder. Why didn't I want to put it through in the, uh, the beginning? Because I knew I was going to take that stipple brush and brush, brush, brush. But now, now I can bring over my die. I can line up my die. I can put my butterfly right back where she belongs. And I don't know why she's a she, she just is. I can see the side, I can see my foil coming through. I can see my Aurora flakes coming through. I'm going to have to remove my solo shim and one cut plate. So I put my die in my embossing folder right down on my base plate and I send it on through. See the embossing that it's done? Pop my die on out. Pop my die cut on out. And now I have got life to my butterfly. She's not just flat. Right? So we did. We did this one, and I don't know where I put my other butterfly. My really pretty, oh, nope, that's not her either. Well, we'll find her eventually. The one I just did out of paper, she was spectacular. Oh, she's right here.
I'm going to do the second one with the flakes as well. So I'm going to put this aside and I'm just going to do this one super fast so it's done and I'll use the same flakes just so we have a compare contrast so we can do apples to apples. Take off my liner, open up my flakes. a little bit down I think that's all I'm going to use we'll see if I need more I'll add grab my stipple brush or stencil brush So yep, this time I'm going to need more. I didn't add enough, and that's okay by me. I'd rather have to add than have to throw away. Of course, it's going to last you quite a long time. place covered okay wow what a difference pending on the colors you get a dramatic difference right this one's got way more pink in it and this one has way more silver in it it's all random it's whatever you pick up and pull out when you do it let's wipe this down and then let's decide what to do with these So I could take, that one's almost too pretty, I could take, this one's kind of a little subtle, so what if I were to take some of my wax? Can I put the wax on top of the flakes? You bet you can. This wax dries on just about everything. Got a hair from my brush. There we go. This wax dries on just about everything. Metal, plastic, glass. And it's really about picking the colors that make your heart happy. Okay, well there's a start. It's definitely not a finish, but there's a start. And maybe we come back. I don't know, the dark blue, maybe it's going to be too dark. Hmm. A little bit of that dark blue. All right, it's getting there. I don't want to cover up all my flakes. Okay, then what if I, what if I throw it in the embossing folder? And let's see what we get, because we've got to start. 
but we don't have a finish. Let's put it in our embossing folder and add that depth and definition that you get with that 3D, it's like a 3D embossing folder, it's definitely thick. Line it up, put my butterfly back in, close it up. I can see the foil coming through so I know I've got the right side up and let's send it on through. And now I've got the definition of the butterfly. But we're not through. What if we took a little bit of the gold? What do you think? A little bit of the gold? And we just highlight her just a little bit. Probably too much. So you can layer upon layer upon layer upon layer. And it's light enough to not harm the paper, not ball up the paper, not destroy the paper. Ooh, oh, I got a little bit too much going on. A little bit of gold to add some light to her. And now I could call it done. She looks pretty good. <laughs> She's got those Aurora Flakes as her base. She's got a little bit of the Cosmic Shimmer or Pink Ink wax going on. She looks pretty good. See if I can get it to zoom. She looks pretty good. She was pretty easy to do. But you can take it one step further. Hmm. What if we add some wax to her? And what wax should we? Do. We haven't tried this one yet. This is called Enchanted Gold. Um, it's beautiful. So when you put it on paper, it's got its. So it's creamy and it's it's kind of um, ivory, but it's got this beautiful iridescence behind it when you move it. It's got this beautiful gold iridescence to it when you move it. It's yummy. So we haven't done this one. Should we try a little bit of this and see what happens? Or should we try the dark blue? <sighs> mm, decisions, decisions. Okay, let's try the dark blue on this one. So with your wax and your Aurora Flakes, you have enough to do. I, I'm Like I said, you can share with friends. Okay, so I put a little bit of blue. So you're kind of getting a little mixed media-ish, but not really. I put a little bit of blue. Let's add a little bit of that 
gold. And I'll just put it right over my blue. So I didn't change my pad in between. I've got the Aurora Flakes as my beginning, as my base. Okay, she's starting to come around now. And now I'm going to use embossing powder to finish her you're like say what after all of that oh you bet I am I can't lose my butterflies I keep losing them oh <laughs> so I'm gonna take my Versamark and you always Versamark the side that's got the magnets I don't have to worry about having too much Versamark because my die is going to cover it all up and it's going to protect my die cut so I can lay it right back on in, close it up. Let's send it on through. Nobody is going to know you started with white paper. <laughs> Nobody's gonna know. <laughs> Impossible. <laughs> Okay, let's see what we get. I'm gonna use the crystal embossing powder. So this is a transparent embossing powder. It doesn't have the, the, the what is it? The frozen ice has a little more iciness to it, if there's such a thing. It's got a couple different sizes of glitter and it's got um, it mixed into the embossing powder. Crystal is just a very fine embossing powder that has this beautiful iridescence to it. And when you, um, when you heat set, it heat sets transparent. So it only stuck where the embossing folder allowed the paper to touch the Versamark. And I know it looks milky and cloudy right now, but wait. Let's grab our heat tool. Okay, the wax took the heat, the flakes took the heat, the paper took the heat, the adhesive took the heat, and now I have got glittery, glittery on one side, on the, so pretty, and this side is still waiting to have enough heat on it to melt. As my dad would say, but wait, there's more click. <laughs> oh, 
Look at all the things we've done. I could take this one. Oh, I don't know. Do we, do we not? She's so pretty. No guts, no glory. I could take this one and let's verse a mark up again. And let's put our die in there. Oh, it'll click right into the magnets. Look at that. I'm getting good. <laughs> Line up my die cut. Have it kind of click into place. Close it up. And let's send it on through. You will see oodles and oodles of samples using these two embossing powders from Stampendous, this frozen ice and crystal. I don't remember having frozen ice before, but we must have had it at some point. Okay, let's put some crystal on it. I know she's so pretty, right? But hey, It's only paper. It's only going to stick where that embossing powder has the Versa mark on it, where the paper was able to touch the embossing folder. It kind of looks a little milky now. Let me put this away and let's heat set. So because when it set, when it heats, it heats to transparent. I didn't lose my red. I didn't lose my gold. All my colors are still there, but now I've got a little bit of sparkle. This side is done. This side is not. Look at the sparkle. <laughs> So the Wax Lyrical and the Gilded Touch are brand new from Creative Expressions. We've got the Wax Lyrical exclusively at Scrapbooking Made Simple. The Gilded Touch you may be able to find um, at a local retailer, but re just now, I mean, they just launched. Right? Yay! Oh, I just want to make them happy. And I love each and every one of them. They're so totally different. And they all started, they all started with, I don't want to put them too far away. I want to know where I put them. They all started with a base of, now could you do this? Could you put a piece of this down? cut that off and cut that off and let's grab a different color this time and let's see um we'll bring our leaves back i could take and just do a big piece of this and honorary sms girl patty loved this color loved this color <laughs> 
This was her go-to for a little bit. Look at how beautiful that is. All, all of the colors are absolutely magnificent. Um, I, I just, I don't know which one I like better. And when you open the jars, they just, they sparkle and shine. I mean, yay. Okay, so she loved this one. So we're going to do this. So I could take and put it right. Oh, Stacy, I haven't pulled the liner off yet. Oh, and it's going to stick right to it. Okay, well then. We'll pull the liner off and, well, stuck right to my liner by static. Now I can put some on. And I can always add more. I think that's a good place to start. Okay, so I'm definitely going to need more, but ooh, right? So can you see you using this for borders on your cards, for edges on your layouts, for your mini albums and your mixed media? Get some Stacy tape and a couple different widths and you can make perfect lines. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. What do we think? Let's close it up. Now, if I wanted to, I could certainly, because I've already done my burnishing, I could certainly grab I don't think I can get two. Oh no, I can get one. So I can certainly grab my leaf. And put it through. Just a different way of doing it. I would not throw this away. I would be using this somewhere. But it's already done, which is kind of nice. So I can take my leaf. Oh, line it up. Put my paper in. More than one way to do it. It's whatever works best for you. Send it on through. And now decide where to take it next. You want to tone that color down a little bit, add a little bit of the wax to it.
You want to use a little embossing powder. Grab it. Ink it. Layer your die. Put your leaf back in. Close it up, send it on through. Oodles of options. And in no time at all. Doesn't take very long. Takes longer when you're teaching somebody, but when you're doing it, well, you can whip through these pretty darn fast. What color embossing powder? Should we go for the gold? Okay, it's stuck where wherever my Versamark was is where my embossing powder stuck. Put this back, let's heat it. Wow, I have made a mess. mom would be thrilled because but wait there's more <laughs> my mom would be thrilled <laughs> like now what are you doing with the blue I don't know Waiting for my dad to kind of close his eyes a little bit so she could switch to the TV shopping channel. Put down that Harlequin romance and start to shop. I don't know. You get the idea. It is amazing what can be done. Switchlets are awesome. Switchlets give you so much opportunity. I only played with one butterfly. I played with the three leaves, but I still have two other butterflies I could have played with. And this is the last opportunity to get them at the original price. Once this YouTube is over, so is that price. And they go to $25.99. And if you go to Sizzix.com right now, you're gonna see them for <laughs> $25.99. Oh, can I get a piece of... Oh, yeah, let's get a big... Pla hold on, hold on, hold on. So, did you see anything here that made your heart go pitter-patter? Did you learn anything new that maybe you didn't know before? Just patterned paper, sanded with a little bit of color over the top to get rid of all that bright white. What here sparked your creativity and said, oh, I think I want to try that? Any? Some? A little? <laughs> Maybe? I can tell you I had a great time doing them and I could do this all day long, but apparently I can't. <laughs> I have to go home at some point and it is already late at night. 
I started and it was light out. The sun has gone down. People have gone home. But how pretty are these? Okay, so what did we use? Well, okay, so the switchlets. We have an I Want It All bundle where you're going to get, it's not the $155, it's $77.99. If you want them open stock and you just want one of them or two of them, that's fine, but then you're going to pay a, a much higher price. Then we took a percentage off the $25.99. So it's almost better. I think they were almost $18 each. So you, you figure out what's going to work best for you. And if you have to go in with a friend, if you've already got some of these, they will love them. And at this price, when they're gone, they're gone. And then after this YouTube, I have to take them back up to full price. And, and they're worth full price. Three big dies like that and an embossing folder. The, the cost is in. The cost is in the genius of getting those magnets in this embossing folder. That is labor intense and time. That did not come cheap, but it is an ingenious way of doing it. Love it. I hope there's more switchlets to come. Okay, so we've got the switchlets for you. We have got the, the wax lyrical and the gilded touch. Just know that I have got a few wax lyrical and a few gilded touch in this bundle and a few wax lyrical and a few gilded touch in this bundle because I wanted them. These are all your metallics and there's no two colors alike. And these are all your brights and there's no two colors alike. But these were not all wax lyrical. There, there was a combination between. So I separated them out and I made two different bundles according to what I thought looked well together. They're brand new. The exclusive is at Scrapbooking Made Simple on the pink. Well, I guess, yeah, the pink ink, but there's pink ink in both of them. The, the bold colors, the vibrant colors, there's eight of them. They retail for $80. Your price is $62.99. I am still digging on this leaf. I am. I, every time I look at it, it makes my heart happy. The... Um, the metallics are nine colors, so $90 and $70.99 on sale. I want to show you the colors so that it's easier for you. Here are the bolds. So this is actually a gilded touch, and this is a wax lyrical. I thought these colors all should go together, so I made my own. <laughs> So if you want the bundle that has the bold colors, the brights, these are the actual swatches. These are the colors you will be getting. If you love the colors that are the metallics, again, these are the actual colors you'll be getting. Can you see that, that autumn bronze one? Can you see how it's got kind of a, a interference in it. It's just yummy. And then see, I put these together so you could see them. This one in the bottle, they look very much alike. They look almost identical in the bottle. Hmm, this one and this one. So in the tube, you're looking at them going, well, those look the same. Well, they're not. Look at the difference between them. This one's got that gold interference where this one is just a straight pearl. This one's got an interference to it. They're all different. Even the golds are different colors. You've got rose gold. You've got copper. You've got a bright gold. You've got an aged gold. Look it. So you decide which ones you like the best. I don't know how you're going to choose because I couldn't. So I got them all. <laughs> See, I'm the first one to have full set syndrome. I have it before you have it because then I bring it to you. So <laughs> FSS lives at Scrapbooking Made Simple and I am a proud member. I could not decide, so I got them all. Then we have the two embossing powders, the crystal and the frozen. 
from Stampendous. Lovely. We've had crystal before, but the frozen, I just don't know. And it, wait till you see it on the samples. These two are on a lot of the samples. And then I've got the Aurora Flakes. And I want to say there's 10 colors. They're all open stock. I couldn't do an I Want It All bundle because we don't have enough of any one of them to make an actual bundle. I'd have been able to make like 10 bundles. So we've got all of them for you on sale. The Aurora Flakes go a long way. Just don't sneeze. And easy to use. Beautiful colors. Triple colors. And then the last thing I have for you is there is still some of the crepe paper left from Ellison. And last week we used this and the wax on this is beautiful. I have the two pack left and I have the single and this is a door buster deal. So the single is not $19.99, it's $4.99. And the two pack is not $39.99, it's $9.98. So. These are still left, and when you put the wax over the top of these, oh, it's dreamy. Now let's do samples. So let me grab this pile here. Ooh, I got a lot of stuff happening. Stay. All right. Samples. Isn't that beautiful? Love it. Love, 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 trying to get everything out of my way. Love it. And then just for you. These are the flowers, the, the uh, switch, Switchlet's flowers. They're called blooms, I think. Look at how gorgeous is that. And here. So you've got the crystal glitter on there. You've got the creative expressions, wax from either Cosmic Shimmer or Pink Ink or both. Look at that card, is that beautiful? And here we have this one. This one has got the frozen ice on top of it. It's got wax and the switch lit and then frozen ice put over the top of it. That's pretty beautiful. Oh my gosh, that's gorgeous. And here we have again with the Aurora Flakes and then some of the wax over the top of the Aurora Flakes. And here we've taken white paper and we have colored it with the different color waxes and then heat embossed on top to get the veins in there. That's all done on white paper. We didn't start with colored paper. We started with white paper. And here is one of the seals. So there is a switchlet that makes envelope seals. We made a tag out of it and did a winter wonderland type tag. Or, gosh, it's not even winter. It's just beautiful. It's a beautiful floral. Those beautiful soft colors. And then here are some of the envelopes where we have made seals out of the switchlets that do the seals. Have I got that right? There. No, now there. <laughs> so you want to finish your envelopes? <laughs> and then there. <laughs> now you've got a die that's going to give you the perfect closure for your envelopes. But we made cards and so we did the same thing. This little embellishment here is out of the same die switchlet set. Okay, then again, I've got that beautiful flower and that's done with the Aurora Flakes and some of the wax.
and here I've got the label. There's a switchlet of labels. You get three, you get the label, but three different, three different shape labels, and they all have the, the rose embossing, and then the leaf off to the side. And then here's the Tim Holtz. This is so clever. I wonder if this was Renee. I don't know. This is so clever. This is the Tim Holtz seal. And she just cut it again and again and again and just started layering it into making a pattern. This is darling. And here we have another Blooms Switchlet and Aurora Flakes. Here we have the Switchlet Butterflies and this was done with all of the different colored waxes from Cosmic Shimmer or Pink Ink. And this was done with Aurora Flakes and, and some wax. Okay, I've got more, but wait, there's more. Here you've got the, the butterfly done with the Cosmic Shimmer or Pink Ink Wax. Oh, and they added some embossing down there with the pretty and look at how happy is this with the blooms these are all three no two it's two of the flowers there's three flowers that come in the blooms because each switchlets comes with three different dyes they all emboss the center but three different um, shapes of flowers all right let's bring this over so Claire put together a note set. I almost hate to pull it apart, Claire, I'm sorry. So you've got, oh, and see, there's that crystal embossing powder on top of that. She did four cards, I think four cards. I miss you, hugs, and hi. Well, she did three. That's with the that's with the wax and then the crystal embossing powder over the top. Oh, and then the envelopes to go with. Really pretty, Claire. And let me. Oh, and then I have a tag here. So this is definitely a Christmas tag, and they use the little seal that's meant for the envelopes right at the top. Pull these over. So I've got the butterflies using the Aurora Flakes and using some of the wax. And I've got the seals to make a happy birthday card. So instead of on the back of the envelope, they're on the card. Ooh, ah, ooh, <laughs> they're pretty fabulous. Ah, I love this one, and it even says love, but look at those Aurora flakes on there. Wow, and that's the blooms, blossoms, switchlets. Forget what it's blooms or blossoms, but it comes in the I want it all. Look at this. Look at those colors. Those are Aurora flakes. Oh, and this was very clever. She used the Tim Holtz seal, and his comes with three different um, edges for the seal. She made a sun out of it. How clever is this? I'm going to say this is Katie. Honorary SMS girl Katie. Could be wrong, but I'm thinking. And then look at this one. Holy smokes. Again, using the Tim Holtz seals. Look at how beautiful is that. And that's with the wax. And then the this is the frozen um, embossing powder on top of it. Oh my gosh. Oh, and they just keep getting better, but wait, there's more. <gasps> Look at this one. See, I don't see these till you see them. They're as much of a surprise to me as they are to you. 
And that's the joy of it. I get to experience them and be excited about them with you. I love this one too. <laughs> so there's the three leaves that you get. The girls knocked it out of the park. Nothing from James this week. Maybe next week. I'm not sure. He's been awful busy. And then thank you. And then a tag. Again with the little seal at the top. And then a layout. So Claire did a layout. So we've got the florals from the switchlets. We've got the butterfly. Oh, and she did it with black embossing powder. Oh, very nice. So here's Claire's layout. So pretty. And then Claire made for the labels. Look at how cute are the little table place setting. Look at how cute she did. This is a switchlet. So you get this shape or you get that shape and there's one more shape, but they all have a little rose in the corner. That's a switchlet. Aren't they darling? And then just a Oh, just a plethora of samples that never got made into anything. <laughs> that were done but never got finished. Oh, here's for Irma. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, so you've got you've got the round with the rose. You've got the labely looking one with the rose, and you have the rounded rectangle with the rose. That's the whole set for the Switchlet's labels, and you can use them for anything. Claire was smart. She made cute little, look at how beautiful. So, oh my gosh. Just oodles of samples that never got put onto anything. There was just too many, too much to do. All right, you guys. So where are you going to find all of this great product? Well, you can absolutely find the Aurora Flakes, perhaps at your local independent retailer, without question. They're not new. They've been around. Um, the Cosmic Shimmer Gilded Touch. Yes, Gilded Touch is not exclusive to us. You may be also able to find that at a local independent retailer. The pink ink colors are. And like I said, our bundles, I mixed the man, I mixed the brands. I didn't care. I wanted specific color palettes to make sense. The switchlets you can get absolutely at a lot of different places. I don't know if they've raised their price or not. The new price is $25.99, but we're giving them to you for a song but only until this YouTube is done. Um, gosh, so the, the embossing powder, well, it's Stampendous, and they are well known for, ta for being really supportive of independent retailers, so I wouldn't be surprised if you couldn't find the crystal or the frozen ice at your local independent retailer. So if you can shop there for some of this product, shop there first. The things that you have to shop with us for, I get it. But if you have the opportunity to meet your, your local independent store or even to go in and ask them, could you order for me? Go ask them. We're all in business to stay in business. And if we all support each other, we'll all be here for each other. And so, I'm thrilled to bring you, I'm thrilled to bring you the, the wax lyrical and the, ooh, they're so pretty. You have to decide which ones you like, and I want to give Ellison Sizzix a big thank you for letting me continue with this YouTube class at the prices that we originally had. Big hugs to everybody there. All right, you guys, it's me, Stacy, Scrapbooking Made Simple, scrapbookingmadesimple.com. I will see you all next week. Don't forget to leave your comment below. Don't forget to subscribe. And it has been wonderful spending the morning, afternoon, or evening with you. Bye.